In the previous video, we looked at the general growth pattern of the China's economy, and also we looked at the growth rate, and also emphasized a couple of very important uh, benchmarks, uh, such as 1949 and 1978, and also 2003. So in this video, we'll look at more detail how the structure change look like in China, so which means uh, how China transit from one sector uh, dominant economy to another. So first, let's review a little bit about what um, we learned from the econ class about uh, uh, general uh, structural change for any countries. So all countries begin develop predominantly agriculture, so the same as the U.S. So the agriculture sector uh, in always be the major sector to grow at the very beginning of the economy. So in the early stage of development, farmers make up the bulk of the labor force and the most value added in agriculture. As development proceeds, proceeds, certain common pattern of the structural change observed that are associated with the growth all away from the predominantly agricultural economy and to industrialized and diversified economy. So which means as we see the similar pattern in the United States, so as the United States get um, uh, more advanced the type, uh, economy and the souls, the societies uh, start to intend to move on to the uh, manufacturing industry and more and more workers start working in the manufacturing industry. So uh, Roselle in 2004 mentioned about the iron law of the development. So what does that mean? So uh, that means a higher income country like the United States has only 3% of its labor force in agriculture. So this is called the decline agriculture share, uh, the iron law of the development. So which means as the economy gets better and better, so what we seen is the agriculture sector will start to shrink. So the shrink doesn't mean uh, they are not as productive as before. It actually just means the labor force decreased and the contribution from agriculture sector to the total GDP decreased, but the GDP will keep still will keep increasing, but the main contributor is no longer agriculture sector. Instead, it will become more industrial sector or service sector. So this is one change as economy, uh, the structure change in terms of economy structure change. So it will switch from agriculture sector dominated to the industrial sector dominated. And so the process of industrialization starting from the small base gradually changed the structure of the economy. Uh, the secondary, and uh, so the industrialization, industrial sector, we also call the secondary sector. So the secondary sector grow through the initial stage of development, increasing the number and the share of the workers and the share of the GDP. In the industry does not grow forever though. At a certain point, the industrial share of the GDP levels off. Moreover, as industrial productivity uh, continues to rise, the share of the workforce in industry declines. So there is no iron law for industrial sector development. So which means as the economy keeps going, the industrial sector, uh, they might not decreasing. They might keep the as a constant or sometimes might increasing. And so that's why it doesn't follow the uh, iron law of development. So iron law of development only apply to agriculture sector. So which means if you, we see agriculture sector shrinking, uh, doesn't mean uh, the portion of the the proportion um, of the agriculture sector contributing to the GDP start shrinking. That actually indicating the economy is growing. However, when we look at the this is secondary uh, the secondary sector industrial sector, and we also can find some common rule that is an average pattern is that the industrial share of the GDP tends to increase until a country reaches to an income level of around ten thousand uh, GDP per capita divided at the purchasing power parity. So which means although we don't see the main contribution that uh, industrial sector decreasing, however we would see a threshold when the total GDP per capita uh, reach to $10,000 and we will be able to see the industrial sector start to stabilize. So they may not shrinking, it was just stabilized. And so as the economy keep growing in any uh, general economy, so we will see is the service industry will start to growing. So this um, 
So during the early phase of the development of, uh, of the share of the service sector does not necessarily change by a large portion. So many underdeveloped economies have large portion of their labor force engaged in services. However, these are predominantly low value jobs, small scale retail and repair and uh, personal services. Early development in these economies may result in a, um, a resulting a uh, decline in agriculture share and increase in industrial share without a large change in uh, service employment. However, above the threshold, which is the $10,000 GDP per capita, and we will be able to see a dramatic increase in the, um, in the service sector. So for instance, like the United States, um, uh, the, the, the G we, we saw the service industry employment increase 70% as we reach to GDP per capita of the $40,000. So, which means uh, agriculture sector can be used as an indicator to see the economy growing pretty fast. So industrial sector uh, will be keep a little bit constant and uh, until 10,000 GDP per capita, then we will see the dramatic increase in the service sector. So when we talk about uh, increasing, we talk about percentage wise. So we will not talking about absolute value because as GDP increasing, every sector's value will go up. But the proportional wise, as the, we reach to a high level of the uh, growth, and what we see is the service sector will start to take a large portion. So the, uh, so the question here is, uh, does China, did China map the same structural change? So that's why we're going to look at uh, the, how the labor sector change, uh, how the labor, the structure change in the labor market, and how the structure change reflecting in the Chinese GDP, and how the structure change reflected the uh, globalization and the international relationship between China in next video.